You're watching WVTV Milwaukee 18. This is WVTV Channel 18's News Final, a wrap-up of the day's news. Bob Barron's are reporting. Chinese Premier Hua Guifeng says his country has committed itself to the development of strategic weapons. In a nationally televised speech in Tokyo, he said China was strengthening its national defense in order to break the nuclear stranglehold of the superpowers. The Energy Department is considering options to the mandatory temperature regulations that office and other non-residential buildings must follow. The options would allow air conditioning to be turned up a bit in summer and heating turned up in winter if the building owners take other steps to conserve energy. Cuba has agreed to accept blame for the sinking of a Bahamian a gunboat by Cuban MiG jets earlier this month. That word from Bahamian officials who say Cuba will pay reparations for the vessel and for the four crewmen who were killed. Experts say Cuban and Haitian refugees streaming into southern Florida may be carrying a deadly virus with them that affects hogs. They say the disease, African swine fever, poses no threat to humans but could devastate this country's $9 billion a year pork industry. Shaking volcanoes and a shaken economy are in the news. A pair of moderate earthquakes shook an area around Mount St. Helens in Washington State Wednesday. They hit Mount Margaret eight miles away, and scientists warn that another massive eruption could come from Mount St. Helens at any time. Treasury Secretary William Miller says that the worst of the recession may be behind us. Addressing the Congressional Joint Economic Committee, Miller acknowledged that the nation's slide into recession has been quite steep. He also said that President Carter's anti-inflation strategy should now be relaxed because it will have a major impact on the next recovery, not on the recession. The President of Mexico has launched a new policy on oil sales. Mexico has a huge reserve of oil and uh, it's in strong demand uh, given the instability of the Middle East. But President Lopez Portillo says cash alone will not open the spigots. He says the oil will only be sold gradually to bankroll industrial development and only as fast as the economy can absorb the money. Milwaukee aldermen have approved the initial steps in computerizing the city's property assessment system. The Common Council Wednesday authorized more than $151,000 for the computer plan, which could eventually lead to annual property reassessments in the city. Second-degree sexual assault charges have been filed against a 36-year-old nursing home employee in connection with an incident involving a 30-year-old mentally retarded woman. Leonard Morris was also charged with abusing an inmate of an institution. Officials now say that the first step of Cuban refugees to be processed, the first group to be processed at Wisconsin's Fort McCoy, will arrive Thursday. The Assembly has voted to override Governor Lee Dreyfus's veto of a budget review bill section that would increase school district cost controls by 1%. Researcher Roger Blobaum of West Des Moines, Iowa, has said Wednesday at Racine that the search for and development of renewable energy resources may be a boon to the rural economy during the 1980s. He said during a symposium at the Wingspread Conference Center that rural communities already lead the nation in trying such energy ideas as solar power and methane and ethanol production. He said, and we quote, it's ironic that rural people are often perceived as being conservative and unreceptive to new ideas and approaches. In sports briefly, Robin Yount and Cecil Cooper drove in two runs apiece in a five-run fourth inning, while Bill Travers and Reggie Cleveland combined for a three-hitter tonight as the Milwaukee Brewers beat the visiting Seattle Mariners seven to nothing. The weatherman says, partly cloudy tonight and Thursday with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Low tonight, upper 50s to low 60s. Highs Tuesday in the mid-80s inland, but upper 70s near Lake Michigan. Variable cloudiness Thursday night and Friday with showers and thunderstorms likely. Lows Thursday night in the upper 50s to low 60s. Highs Friday in the low 80s inland to the mid-70s near the lake. Right now, the wind is from the west at 8 miles an hour, humidity 93%, in Milwaukee officially 63 degrees. This has been Channel 18 News Final. Bob Behrens are reporting. It's all.
This completes today's programming on WVTV, which operates on Channel 18. WVTV, with studios and transmitter located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is owned and operated by the Gaylord Broadcasting Company. Programs telecast by this station may not be used for any other purpose except exhibition at the time of their broadcast on receivers in places where no admission, cover, or mechanical operating charges are made. WVTV operates on an assigned frequency of 494 to 500 megahertz. We now close our programming day with the national anthem. <laughs>